Jameson Williams, I don't know if he's going to play on Thursday. I don't expect him to play on Thursday, but he's going to be back very soon. What does that mean for this Detroit Lions offense? It means everything because that is – you're right. That is the one thing that this offense is lacking, explosive plays. I know we all are big fans of Amon Ross St. Brown. He has done a great job, but he's more of a possession, short, and intermediate route receiver. He's only averaging 10.6 yards per catch, and his long is 49. Nothing wrong with Amon Ross St. Brown. I love Amon Ross St. Brown, but you need someone who can compliment him, like Jamison Williams. And I know it was college. Ooh, ooh, I know, man, I know, I, I know. Wait. The possibilities are endless. And I know it was college. But it was at Alabama in the SEC. And in the numbers that Jamison Williams put up, he was robbed of a Balintikoff Award, by the way. 79 receptions for 1,572 yards, 15 touchdowns, averaging 19.9 yards per catch. And that's not all. List, I'm going to list the yardage amount of some of the touchdown catches he had. He had a 94-yard touchdown, 81-yard touchdown, 75, Jeez. 79, 67, and wait for this, 67 and 55-yard touchdown catch against that Georgia defense in the SEC Georgia. championship game. You know what he did in that game? Georgia. You know, you know what he did in that SEC championship game? What did he do? Seven receptions, 184 yards, three touchdowns. Jesus Christ. I'm not saying. And he left early. And he left early. Yes. He left early. He left early in the, no, Nash, in the, yeah, national, in the national championship. Oh, national championship. Yeah, okay, that's again. what I thought you said. I apologize. But the point is, is that Jamison Williams is, to me, he's going to walk right in on the field and be one of the fastest players. Oh yeah, he's and, the and, second and, and fastest the rated player on Madden. If that means anything to you, I mean, to, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'm no, just saying. but si- no, seriously, right. that is how fast he is. He's that guy that he. C- I'd say Jared Goff is at least pretty decent at throwing maybe the crossing route. Yeah. yeah. What can Jamison Williams do with a crossing route if, if it's open field? I see. He can take it to the crib. He can take it to take the house. Take it to the cut. I'm, dude, I, I saw that. <laughs> I, I'm so, Relax. I'm just Relax. so excited right now to get the this kind of top flight weapon. <laughs> but we, how many times did we say when we were watching those Detroit Lions games the past couple weeks and Cleef Raymond or Tom Kennedy or one of the other nameless receivers – Catches that that crossing route, catches that slant across the middle, and you're like, Jamo would have took that to the crib. I mean, even Amonar St. Brown. Yes. We love Amonar St. Brown, but he just doesn't have that explosion and that speed. Yeah. I mean, to me, Jamison Williams is, I'd say his ceiling is Deshaun Jackson, but like way way better the at ceiling? running at running the short and intermediate routes, but like three Ooh. times better.